car sales and tax refunds. They get along better than peanut butter and jelly. Local 5's Dave Downey has what you can expect if you're heading out to the used car lot to spend your refund. We're heading into the busiest couple of months for used car sales thanks to those tax refunds and it's the best environment for buyers since before the pandemic. That's a lot of cars. The inventory is uh, it's always changing, but here lately it's amping up a little pre tax season. The annual winter lull in car sales is just about over. Mid to late February and then March is usually just on fire. But once the weather improves and the cash arrives in your wallet, it's always busy every tax season, but the last couple years, particularly, we noticed an uptick in sales. Used car prices are down 5.5% in the last 90 days and over 8% in the past year, but that only tells part of the equation. One of the things that you have to keep in mind is interest rates have also gone up. Used car interest rates are almost always higher than new cars. Not only that, but a potential recession is looming. As a luxury item, automobiles tend to, to fall faster during recessions yeah, and right. reduction in prices are probably not a good indicator for what's happening with the overall economy. They're going to be a signal of potential problems uh, across uh, the board in terms of uh, a reduction in labor demand. As always, do that homework online before you head out to the car lot in Des Moines. Dave Downey, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Another thing that Dr. Orezum said to keep an eye on, electric car sales and subsidies. The more state and federal governments pump into the EV market, the more traditional gas car prices will be affected.